Now that we know that kinetics is a study of the rate or the speed of reactions, we can focus a little more on reaction rates. Reaction rates are expressed as the change in the concentration of a reactant or product over a specific change in time. Mathematically, we could write this as the rate equals the change in the concentration of some compound A over the change in time. Typically, the concentration units will be in molarity, and the time units will typically be in seconds, although occasionally we may use minutes or even some other time scale. Let's look at an example reaction where we have one mole of hydrogen gas reacting with one mole of iodine gas to produce two moles of hydrogen iodide gas. We could determine the rate of this reaction by writing that the rate is equal to the change in the concentration of hydrogen over some change in time. Or we could indicate that the rate by saying that it's based on the change in the concentration of iodine over the change in time. In the previous slide, we saw how to talk about the rate of a reaction based on the reactant concentration changes. But what about the products? As this figure shows, we see that there seems to be a different rate of change or a different slope to the line for the concentration of the hydrogen iodide compared to the concentration of the hydrogen. This should be expected because when we look at the balanced equation, we see that since hydrogen iodide has two moles produced for every one mole of hydrogen consumed, we should expect that the rate of formation of hydrogen iodide it is twice the rate of consumption of hydrogen. We could write this mathematically as the rate of formation of hydrogen iodide, which would be delta HI over delta T, is twice the rate of consumption of H2 which would be written 2 times delta H2 over delta T. Although we haven't talked about it specifically, we know that the rate of change of iodine is the same as the rate of change of hydrogen, so we could also write that the rate of change of hydrogen iodide is equal to 2 times the rate of change of iodine. We can simplify this by getting rid of the coefficients of 2 in front of the iodine and the hydrogen and moving the 2 as a fraction in front of the hydrogen iodide. We would then simplify this by writing the change in the concentration of hydrogen is equal to the change in the concentration of iodide which is equal to one-half the change in the concentration of the hydrogen iodide product. In the previous slide we saw how to relate the rates of change of reactants and products, including cases where there's a coefficient in front of one of the reactants or products. More generally, if we want to relate the rates of any reactants or products given some general equation so that there's A, A molecules reacting with B, B molecules to produce C, C molecules and D, D molecules, we could relate the rates of change of each of these by writing negative 1 over A times the change in the concentration of A over the change in time, which would be equal to negative 1 over the coefficient B multiplied by the change in the concentration of B over change in time, which would be equal to 1 over the coefficient C multiplied by the change in the concentration of C over the change in time, which would also be equal to 1 over the coefficient d multiplied that by the change in the concentration of d over the change in time. We should note that we only use the negative signs for the reactants in order to ensure that all of the rates that we have are positive. By now, you should be able to express rates based on concentration and time. You should also be able to relate the rates of change of re reactants and products based on the coefficients in a balanced chemical equation.